I like Titan Quest, don't get me wrong. But at this point, I just want to finish it. Usually when a game series goes for a little bit too long, I want to, you know, move on. I'm not saying I don't like this game, because I do like this game. It is a good game. It's just, you know, playing it like the whole base game, and then playing the DLC back, just back to back, it just, you know, I just want to move on a little bit. I'll probably come back to this game in the future, but yeah. You gotta understand, I've been playing this game for what? Three weeks now straight? Almost three weeks, yeah. I put about like, well, I don't know. Hang on, give me a second. Look at my Steam. One second. Just save it here, I guess. Look at my Steam. How many hours did I put in this game already? Uh, yeah, about 55 hours. Yeah, 55 hours. Straight, pretty much. Not really straight, but you know. Like I said, good game. But I do agree it gets boring after a while. Unlike most of this type of game genre you can't really binge play this game because it gets boring after a while maybe because it doesn't have any flashy abilities or anything and the story kind of just fades off now i think that's the uh, the biggest downside to me it is this uh, storyline it just goes it gives you like a little bit of a story and then just lets you play for like an hour or four hours and then gives you another little story. I think that's the uh, the biggest downside, yeah. I have like six... Yeah. It just doesn't keep your attention. I think that's the problem is... It needs like more story. Like every little area probably have like a little mystery, a little story to it. Maybe more NPCs, just something more. Like it got the combat okay, it got all the abilities, it just doesn't have the... It doesn't attract your attention. It doesn't keep you investi- uh, um, your attention, it doesn't keep your attention. Like I said before, I mean it's times, but Path of Exile uh, keeps your attention. It gives you little stories here. Like the pacing of the game is a lot better though. Even Grim Dawn is pacing is a lot better. Cause you got like little mysteries and the side quests and everything. Side quests in this game is not very interesting. Did I grab everything over there? Yeah, did. Because I don't mind playing a game for long periods of time. Because I've played Last Revenant and Final Fantasy games for a long time. Like those take a while to beat. But I don't mind playing those. Because it keeps the story fresh. It keeps the story going. This one is just like, hey, the bad guy's over here. Go kill him. The bad guy now over this way. Go kill him. That's pretty much what the game is. And just go wherever the bad guy is. Hey, some evil dude's doing some evil things in China. Go stop him. Pretty much it. That's pretty much the game in a nutshell. You just go over this way, stop the bad guy, and then go somewhere else and stop the bad guy.
even um, Torchlight kind of have the same thing, but at least it still has like a really good story to it. Torchlight 1 kind of... Yeah, Torchlight 1 doesn't really have a story pretty much. It still has an interesting story. You have to go down to the dungeon and try to clear it. It's very basic, but yeah. That's why I got bored of that game as well. Like, I finished Torchlight 1, but... Oh, dear God, I just put some music on. Wait, did you get two? <laughs> okay, you got your YouTube and your Twitch. Yeah, I got the feeling that time quest. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got the feeling that time quest became boring qu quick, fast, and other games in the same genre that you many things will even with the story is short you can see a good yeah <laughs> and like other games you could do multiplayer I don't think you can do multiplayer with Titan Quest. I might be wrong about that, but yeah. I know you could do multiplayer with like Pop Exile and Ty uh, Torchlight. Yeah, Torchlight and Pop Exile, you can do multiplayer. I think you can do multiplayer and Grim Dawn as well. I switched from Trish to Yuji because I Trish was lagging too much with my What job? <laughs> oh, game. There you go. Well, I almost finished this uh, DLC. You could do multiple. You could do multiple. Like. Okay. What am I doing? Here? Oh yeah, that's why. Could you play with like? you? Yeah, yeah. I, I you remember. Didn't know that we Verger are respected for our craft in all nine realms. I remember. Yeah, you don't call to travel other anywhere at our leisure. Well, oh, I'm a protection, defense, Holden put a stop to that. Okay. Elemental. Do I need elemental? Not really. Ah, uh, intelligence no. Yeah. Don't get squashed. <laughs> Obviously, dark lens. I know this. It's just this game pacing is all wrong. I don't know any other genre that does like mythological um, areas like this. The, the mead of poetry. You really have it. Impossible. Let me have a taste. Hmm. Yes. That really is it. I can feel it. <laughs> I. We are in your debt, trespasser. And yes, we will make your item. It is just... <clears throat> we need a special ingredient to further improve items of epic or legendary quality. It is called Blacksteel. And we don't have it. We... Um, we didn't actually expect you to succeed. But, uh... As you were even able to get the mead of poetry. Maybe you could find us some of that too? Please. Oh, great. Yeah, so if, if, they ever, if they ever do make Titan Quest 2, that's probably never going to happen. Maybe make it a better story. Or more interactive. Uh, 
more interact uh story. So you can interact it with more. Because the pacing on this game is just no pacing at all. Just go to the city, talk to everybody, do quests, and then move to the next city. Like I keep saying, I just played uh, Grim Dawn, and there was a guy that was like holed up in the um, house, and you had to teleport him back. Or oh, spoiler, if. Yeah, spoiler, but there's like a little girl trapped in the cave and whatever you do can actually uh, interact with the world like little stuff like that just goes a little long way like little events and everything happening between hub worlds or different cities Be honest, I think they should do Titan Quest 2. I think Titan Quest uh, 2 would be good if the it polishes off the mechanics. But we all know they're not going to do that. But I don't know, they maybe do it in the future. Look at Boulder Gates. It took them 20 years to make a sequel. <laughs> no joke. It said that um, Border Gates 1... I mean Border Gates 2 came out like 2000 or 2001. So yeah, it took them a lot for like 20 years to make Border Gates 3. Could you imagine being a fan of Baldur Gates 3 and that to wait? Yeah, you have to wait for like 20 years to get a sequel. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, like I said, improve the mechanics. That's why I was saying, like, it's not a bad game, it just other games in the genre does it better. And Path of Exile is free. But there's many problems with Path of Exile, in my opinion. In my opinion, I don't like the gem system, the gem skill system. Where if you have a certain armor, you can't link up to other stuff. I just find that really annoying. And also the camera. Dear God, I wish I could zoom out. Like the camera is way too close for your character, in my opinion. But it's a free-to-play game, so you're getting a lot of value out of it. Still highly recommend it. actually one of the best free to play games out there in the market oh where are we? we're in the forest in Harry Potter or something we went to a castle into like a little snow area now into the dark forest I think, yeah. I think in uh, Torchlight 2, the enemies actually tease you in everything. Like the enemies actually talk to you. I think it'd be kind of cool if enemies actually, you know, tease you or make sounds. Like you hear a noise in the distance. That's what Puff Exile does. 
you can hear a monster from a distance like yep that's gonna be trouble I don't know like I said if they flesh out this game it'd be awesome smash the spies I don't like them yeah Oh, uh, by the way, back of the phobia warning. Because I don't think we're going to get out of this forest anytime soon. So, anybody, you know, scared of spiders and everything? Oh, probably skip this episode. <laughs> An enemy to talk to you is funny in Borderlands 2. Yeah, see? That's another game that I played Borderlands 2. It's not really an RPG looter, but it is like a looter, shooter looter, I guess. Yeah, it's a shooter looter. Like, this guy can, um... Instead of just doing spells, he could do spells while, you know, saying spells names, you know. Intestations and all that stuff. Another game that I played, it's not really a looter, but it is a RPG game. It's called uh, Bar Tail. Bar Tales. And that was a pretty good game because of the humor. Bard's Tale is actually, you think it's Scottish as well. It's like in Celtic as well. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, I have 200 hours in both ends. I love Borderlands 1, but I didn't really like Borderlands 2. And that's just my opinion, but yeah. Like Borderlands 1, I played for hours on end. But Borderlands 2, I haven't finished, I put it down. I need to go back to it eventually. But I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll play this later and put it down. It hasn't touched it since, I think it's been like a year now. I don't know, to my my opinion, Borderlands just got worse and worse with each game. They have a great, uh, you know, universe and everything. They have a great ideal. But they just keep ruining it. And I don't even want to touch Borderlands. Um, yeah, I don't even want to touch uh, Borderlands 3. Everybody says Borderlands 3 is not that good. I'm like, okay. I'm not gonna touch it. Also, the Winter Epic uh, exclusive. Did not like that. There's no reason why Borderlands 3 should be Epic exclusive for one year. Absolutely should not be the case for a AAA title. I go from all the following games, two is my favorite, and then three tail. I actually like one the best. <laughs> That's just my opinion. I didn't really like number two. That's just my opinion. But I think Borderlands and Torchlights are better with friends. Like if you have somebody to play with, that's like really fun. Where am I going?
Well, I think I can finish um this game this week, like today and tomorrow. I think I can finish this game tomorrow. Because everybody says the other DLC is very short. And I'm almost done with this uh, DLC. Pretty sure I'm almost done. Main quest, yeah, almost. If he's okay, the story is not that good as some parts, and it gets better at the end. It made so bad. That made so, so bad decision. With many fans angry. Yeah. <laughs> Also, I don't like the whole, uh, see, uh, the company itself. Like the 2, uh, what's that? 2K? Yeah, I think it's 2K that makes the full end games. And I disagree with them buying cap traps or just for money. If you don't know the story, the voice actor for Crap Trap, he was doing his voice for free for like all the other games but with number you three he's like the store. yeah for Borderlands 3 he's like can I get paid this time can I get actual money and the guy's like no you're fired <laughs> all because he wanted money for his work Actually, kind of stupid, but hey. So yeah, that's the whole drama about the clap trap voice actor. There's more into the story, but that's just a general thing. Uh, what? Uh, would you play after? T what would you play after Time Quest? Uh. It's, uh, Psychonauts. Psychonauts? Yeah. And after Psychonauts, it'd be Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age. I was playing in fun, uh, play Final Fantasy Troll, but I want to break from RPG games a bit. I've been playing RPG games for months now. So I just wanted a little break up and do like, you know, a little action game. Because before I played Titan Quest, I played all the gothic games. And all the DLCs of Gothic games. So yeah. Just want to have a little break from RPG games for a little bit. See? Look. Like that. That is perfect. Why the game can't have more of that? Demonic voice just saying we have your guess. Yeah, if you guys don't know what Psychonauts uh, is, it's an old Xbox original game about like a psychic school, I think. I don't really know about the story, but it's a bunch of psychic people in the school and some weird stuff happens. The only reason I'm playing it now because number two is coming out soon. Psychonauts 2. And I might actually play that. And after the Final Fantasy games, I uh, Final Fantasy 12, I have no idea what I'm going to play. Probably Bar's Tales 4.
Let me yell. Hey, chasing down these goos. Plus anything new. Let me make sure I get everywhere. Yeah. If you want to know what my channel is mostly about, it's mostly about, um, RPG games and retro games. That's pretty much my whole channel's about. Even have a whole day on Saturday dedica dedicated to retro games. I just finished. What was it? The Avatar games? Avatar The Last Airbender. Hey, and now I'm doing um, Lord of Rings games. Uh, before the ki before kill the ghost, use the shield charge of them. Okay. Uh, want to play? Want to play it often? Then, at the moment, I'm playing City Skyliner, and after that, I don't know yet. Yeah. Well, see, I don't want to be. Oh, wait, my ability's gone. When did my ability go? What is that? Oh, is a shield? That's actually a shield? Why is that a shield? Okay. That's piercing resistance. Nice. Sleeping health. Hmm. How much blood do I have? So that goes down the... Yeah, I think I'll keep the blood, actually. Keep the blood. Yeah, what I was saying before, I really don't want to be, um, playing one game.